Hey guys, so I'm sure that if you are a YouTube content creator of any size, you've probably been threatened to, oh, I'm going to sue you for libel, I'm going to sue you for slander, I'm going to sue you for defamation, right? And these are not really actual threats because the amount of money it would cost to engage in any lawsuit uh, defamation lawsuits are often the most expensive type of lawsuit because of the discovery and the fact finding that you need is enormous. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So here we have the legal bill of Carl Jobs for one month to defend himself against William James Mitchell or Billy Mitchell. And you can see it is a lot of money. And th this money that he is, Carl is paying to defend himself with is very similar to the amount of money that Billy is paying f to be the plaintiff or to sue, uh, if not more. Uh, it depends. I think Carl is in Australia and Billy is in the U.S. So even being an international case, would make it a little bit even more difficult and more expensive because eventually Billy would actually need to travel to Australia to be present in court. Now, you know, when you see these comments all the time, you're going to get sued, you're going to get sued, you're going to sue you, the completeness is going to sue you. Uh, these, for the large majority of people, are empty threats, right? Because of the cost. And defamation is very, very hard to prove in the U.S., especially if the individual in question, the person suing, is a what we would call a public figure. A public figure is exactly that, somebody who holds himself out to be in public, someone who uh, wants to make it, maybe a YouTuber with a substantial subscriber count. Um, these would all be public figures. The completionist would be a public figure. Billy Mitchell will, would be a public figure. And the difficulties in suing and, and all this stuff is you have to collect a lot of evidence, right? Um, so I've been part of a lawsuit for three years now. And the experience has been really eye-opening to how abusive the legal system can be. Um, because you have to wait. Uh, even before you file for summary judgment, you have to wait for all the depositions. You have to wait for all the fact findings, all the you know requests, discovery requests. And in the wrong hands of a bad lawyer, a lawyer who is willing to support a frivolous lawsuit, it can take years and years. And this is what you saw with Billy Mitchell. He didn't actually want to go to trial, right? He settled after five years right before trial that to me is almost insane now i understand why twin galaxies did it they were trying to settle the whole time right the the reason they they specifically did it was they wanted to save money uh well i mean that that's a pretty good example of uh a a defendant that you know is just kind of dragged into this thing and it's, every year it drags out, there's more and more legal fees. Every year that continues on, there's more fees. Like, people don't get it. You can win your lawsuit. Um, you can win a successful defense against defamation in the U.S. and still be out millions of dollars. Right? Um, and, and that's kind of crazy, in, in my opinion, right? That's crazy. Um, but that that's the legal system that we currently on. I hopefully, you know, as a lawyer, I hope that there's some type of reform. I hope there is some type of people really thinking about should this system exist the way it, it does, where people are suing each other for defamation. And simply put, there's no evidence. There's really no reasoning that this would continue for five years, or in my case, for three years. I can tell you that, yes, the billable hours have been accumulating on both sides. And this might have something to do with lawyers themselves, right? Um, in my case, um, I'm going to painstakingly take you through the cases of the lawyer and the two doctors and so on. 
they're just they just have money to burn. Um, they just have money to burn, and they don't really care, uh, in my opinion, about justice or truth or honesty or transparency. They when they get upset when when you upset somebody who has that type of wealth, um, they're going to spend whatever money they can to just ruin you. And this is, I think, pretty much Billy Mitchell in a nutshell. The money part isn't relevant to him, but it's relevant to the people who he's suing, of course, right? Like Twin Galaxies. The main reason they agreed to settle was because of the money. Specifically, they named that. The, the, their lawyer specifically stated, not, we cannot go on more. We cannot go on. It's been five years of discovery, expert witnesses, testimonies, depositions, interrogatories. Uh, we cannot go on with this lawsuit, uh, monetarily wise. And here we have a very interesting, because Carl Jobs, um, he's making videos about this. And we're actually going to talk about the videos he's making, because uh, a question comes up where whether or not he should be making these videos, right? When somebody sues you for defamation, should you then be making more videos adding to the claims that this individual can make, right? So Billy Mitchell is being provided for all intents and purposes ammo against Carl Jobs by Carl Jobs on the videos, right? So should he remain silent? Should he talk? We can talk about why it's different. I think for Carl, it's a little bit different because he is a public-facing persona. And in, in that matter, um, he does need to make videos about it because that's how he fundraises money. That's how people watch his videos. That's the sponsorships. And it's a very different place to be if Carl was also a private individual. So, fascinating case. A lot of um, a lot of interesting things that Billy and vs. Carl are doing right now. And part of the reason that most deaf people do not sue online is just the cost. The cost is high on both sides. Um, but often the plaintiff, the person who is quite spiteful many times and feels like they've been wronged, they are more happy to bear the cost than the defendant who is just being sued out of nowhere, right? So that's kind of the situation I'm in. I think it's an interesting story to tell. I think it's a story that hasn't been really told online very well because people don't understand that you can be right, you can be 100% right, and still be going through legal hell. Like for no reason than other than the persons are spiteful individuals, hateful individuals, right? Maybe they just don't like the way you talk, the way you look. That It could be any of these things. Um, and uh, they can make life really difficult for you uh, in terms of legal fees, in terms of time. The one thing I didn't realize was the amount of time I would have to spend finding stuff out. Um, recently, I do search up over 7,000, probably almost nearly 8,000 text messages that happened two plus years ago. That takes a lot of time to screenshot. And it wasn't even like, oh, the guy wasn't even happy about it. It was just like, you know, there's nothing here. Anyway, my point being is, um, I'm happy to take you through the actual litigation process because I think it's eye-opening to the ordinary citizen just how much time and money is spent in courts every day just because the plaintiff or the defendant, one of the sides, is un it's very spiteful and very prideful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.